In this experiment, we will show you how water plays a role in showing the properties of acids and alkalis. This is a sample of solid and hydrous citric acid. The chemical formula of citric acid is shown here. Notice that there are three replaceable hydrogen atoms that can ionize in water to give H plus AQ. Notice that not all the hydrogen atoms are able to ionize to form H plus AQ. Anhydrous citric acid is a white solid. We will now test the solid using blue limus paper. There was no color change on the blue limus paper, meaning that the acid didn't show its acidic property. We will now add distilled water to the acid. The blue limus paper turns red in the presence of water. It shows that water is necessary to show the acidic property of citric acid. This is a sample of calcium hydroxide solid. Solid calcium hydroxide is a white powder. We will test the solid using red limus paper. There was no color change on the red limus paper, meaning that the alkali didn't show its alkaline property. We will now add the still water to the sample. The red limus paper turns blue. It shows that water is necessary to show the alkaline property of the alkali. This is a sample of effervescence tablet. When you add this effervescence tablet in water, it will give you a fizzy drink that supplies you with vitamin and minerals. Looking at the ingredients, the tablet contains vitamin C. Vitamin C is also known as ascorbic acid, which is an acid. The tablet also contains sodium hydrogen carbonate and calcium carbonate. They can both react with acid to produce carbon dioxide, which is responsible for the effervescence. When there is no water, it is obvious that the vitamin C and the carbonates are not going to react. When water is added, effervescence is observed. It shows that the vitamin C is reacting with both the carbonates and the hydrogen carbonate. In conclusion, water is necessary to show the properties of acids and alkalis. This is the end of the video.